Best opening in a decade, China Peak. Ski slopes ready for action. Mike, do you ski or no? No. For the safety of everybody on the mountain, I do not ski. Okay. <laughs> That's, I love that answer. Believe it or not, I used to ski a lot in Iran. Uh, most folks don't know that Tehran has four ski resorts. Uh, the farthest away is about an hour and a half. Uh, we used to go skiing every weekend. It was super inexpensive and just fantastic skiing. Some of the best world-class skiing in just outside of Tehran, Iran. Hopefully someday a few of us can go back and enjoy that uh, skiing. Uh, Maybe sooner than later, Darius. Okay. I think over the next four years, uh, given the change in administration, it's probably the closest we're ever going to get to that happening. Okay. I, that very well could happen. Uh, I think the Israelis have been working on regime change in uh, Lebanon and Gaza. Maybe they should have been focusing on someplace else. Okay, I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, how did Fresno County Elections Office mail out wrong ballots? Uh, this is a kind of an enigma, and I'm going to bring in Bill real quick. There's, we know at least 11 votes are off. Is it because one side of the street could be in one district, another side could be in another district, and it's Gosh, we talked about this on, on, on this show. 200 and, 250 different ballots have to be prepared, packaged, and sent out to folks in Fresno County. That's a lot of work that Mr. Coos and his team have gone try to perfect. Uh, but on elections, it's really uh, important to get it 100% correct. So obviously, we have the story on uh, GV Wire. And uh, I want to give you five facts and then some opinion quickly. California's overproduction of solar energy results in our power being sold off at a loss to Arizona, New Mexico, and other Western states. Last year, that cost California taxpayers at least $69 million. Second wow. fact, the vast majority of ratepayers in California have utility bills twice as high as the national average. Fact. Part of this mess was created by Senate Bill 100. That bill created incentives for solar production while at the same time imposing penalties on power generated by dams. And dams, wow. by the way, in California do not count as green energy, even though they count as green energy in virtually every other state, and even though they're completely clean when it comes to generating power. Fact, the state is overbuilding renewables without sufficient storage capacity. Our current industrial batteries store only four hours of solar power. That's inadequate to meet nighttime demand. Fact, okay. on some days, more than half the available solar power goes to waste, and the amount of power that has been wasted has increased by 500% since 2017. This is just my opinion. This is a small look at the incompetence of California government, which has messed up the rollout of solar and is bungling the state's transition to green energy to reduce global warming everywhere you look. There you go. There you have it. All the facts and how our state legislator my guess is going to be most of our state Dem legislators have uh, probably supported that. Bill, it'd be good to kind of uh, break down Senate Bill 100 and see who, who was the sponsor and who supported it. Well, it was so uh, supported by uh, Democrats, and it was carried by uh, the former Senate leader, Kevin DeLeon. There was a lot of lobbying from the solar industry on this, and they got what they wanted. Uh, so the solar producers love it, and the guys that especially love it are the people that sell and broker power throughout the West. While California rate payers or taxpayers are losing money and rate payers are paying way more than they should, the power brokers are profiting handsomely. So California Democratic legislators passed this bill through benefit special interest groups at the expense of the California ratepayer. When was this bill passed, 
Bill. Was this last year or was it? No, was it no, it was when years? Kevin De Leon was oh, uh, Kevin the De Leon. Senate leader. So you're you're talking quite a few years ago, and you know how this uh, happens. They'll pass a bill, then they need enabling legislation to implement it, and you know yeah. sometimes the the last vestiges of the bill aren't uh, put into action until seven or eight years later, as happened with vehicle miles traveled. And Darius, if I could add one thing, there's a great yes. opinion piece on TV Wire right now. It's at the top of the page. And it talks about how Governor Newsom is trying to Trump proof California. And uh, the opinion says, rather than getting all these legal fights, why don't you Trump proof California by making California competent again? Start passing legislation that deals with the issues that people care about. When you look at California right now, it's almost impossible to get homeowners insurance. And if you get Correct. it, you're paying, I don't know, two or three times the national average. It's hard to get auto insurance. People are going around seven, eight insurers trying to just get their cars insured. Many major insurers pulling out. We have the utility rate fiasco. We have the highest in the nation gas taxes. This is all about the competence of government. And the fact is, this doesn't have to happen. Meanwhile, Governor Newsom has been, uh, you know, become the national spokesman on uh, left wing and woke issues that uh, very few people care about, even in the Democratic Party. And meanwhile, California is sliding away because of incompetent leadership. And there was a time when California had the best leadership in the nation. So the busiest days, again, we know that Sunday is the busiest day, followed by today and tomorrow. Uh, and that's what Thanksgiving typically looks like for us. And many of us in our country have will have that meal or that meal on Thursday. And a lot of fantastic things that really is uh, synonymous with uh, America, Thanksgiving in America, the Macy's Thanksgiving parade, of course, lots of cool football, lots of great food, entertainment on Thursday, all day. But while America savors and we savor Thanksgiving feasts, many in other parts of the world, war-torn parts of the world, like Gaza, are lucky to have one meal a day. And I know that's not something really comfortable for us to talk, to talk about, but Thanksgiving is about giving thanks, at least for me, to, to many of the blessings that we have uh, in our world and especially in our country. And here's what's happening in other parts of the world. A lot of it at the hands of our taxpayer dollar mon monies that are going to that part of the world to destroy that uh, the Gaza Strip. Latest death toll, 45,000 Palestinians, 11, over 1,139 uh, on the Israeli side, killed since October 7th. Most of Gaza Strip is destroyed. Uh, not a whole lot left. Uh, I don't know what the rebuilding is going to look like, who's going to pay for it, or who's going to own that property. And we're going to bring in uh, Hamid Entizam here uh, uh, shortly. Uh, slides 19 and 20. Let's kind of go through those. Thank you for being with us uh, throughout throughout the year. I know many of you are um, uh, watch this program frequently, uh, and I'm grateful uh, for for you and and all of all of us at, at GV Wire and Filter that make this program uh, possible. Um, we'll have a little tribute to them end of uh, this year. Uh, we are working on the person uh, or the people of the year uh, we, that we will announce uh, right before Christmas, as we did last year. Um, uh, Mike and I and the GV Wire and Filter crew are putting our brains together on who had the most amount of impact, made the, made the most amount of change in the lives of folks here in Fresno County and really the, the Valley. Uh, I'm grateful as an immigrant to live in this beautiful country. I remind myself that so many folks across the world, actually starting in our own backyard, going to uh, Central America and other parts of the world, especially the Middle East, um, suffer and don't don't get a, get a chance to enjoy the same uh, conveniences. I don't want to even use the word luxury. It's conveniences that we enjoy daily. Uh, from food, uh, shelter, 
healthcare opportunity. And I'm very grateful to, uh, to these United States uh, for making that available uh, to its uh, resident and citizenry. On that note, thank you for watching, and I hope to see all of you next Tuesday night. And uh, we'll have, we'll come, we'll, we're getting ready for a year-end person of the year announcement, so stay tuned. That will happen right before uh, Christmas. <laughs>